Well, in an effort to help people in need, paramedics in St. John's packed two ambulances full of goodwill and Christmas spirit and made a donation to the Salvation Army today. NTV's Heather Gillis has the story. These paramedics were carrying goodwill and presents on this stretcher today rather than patients. Toys, food and clothing were donated by shoppers for the Pack the Back Challenge, an attempt to fill the back of this ambulance with gifts. The challenge was organized by paramedics in St. John's and today they handed over the proceeds of the challenge to the Salvation Army. The church's Wade Budgel says the donations will go a long way. And I think ambulances are about hope as well. And, uh, and certainly ambulances stuffed full of toys for Christmas represent um, hope for a lot of children. The paramedics originally aimed to pack one ambulance full of donations from shoppers at Walmart in St. John's last Saturday, but they surpassed that goal. By the end of the day, we had both ambulances packed to overflowing. Well, a doubt to your expectations is amazing. I mean, one ambulance would have been, um, I guess, a happy feeling, but this is just ecstatic to walk away with two ambulances. Corey Banks is the paramedics manager. He said about 80% of the donations were toys, and the other 20% were clothing and gifts. So, uh, you know, you've got at least six people that can fit in the back of here, along with medical equipment, as space to work. So you can imagine that's quite an amount of space inside one of those ambulances. Banks said they also received $600 in cash donations, but the Salvation Army will add a little Christmas magic to the donations. And uh, so we, we packed toy bags in Santa's, Santa's workshop, and it's, it's quite a sight to behold. Uh, 1,500 toy bags lined up for distribution day. Banks is hoping to make Pack the Back an annual event, and next year he's challenging paramedics from across the province to do the same. Heather Gillis, NTV News, St. John's.